My name is Harold Schooley, and I'm here at Schooley Orchards Limited in Apple Hill Lavender. And my name is Jennifer Schooley, and I am the fourth generation here on Schooley Orchards and Apple Hill Lavender. My grandfather came here in 1906 and bought this farm. It's been a general farm for many, many years, but it's always had apples. So we've been growing apples for 118 years here. And uh, at one time we grew potatoes and cauliflower and so forth, sent, sent the cauliflower to the pickle factory in Guelph at one time, and potatoes for Canadian canners for the soup here in Simcoe. But eventually we planted the whole thing to apples. And then about uh, 2010, my wife retired from Jan, retired from Omafra, and planted this field of lavender as a retirement project, which has turned into work. <laughs> When I left the farm after high school, I um, vowed I would never be a farmer because it was hard work. Uh, it didn't pay well, and uh, I never wanted to, to, I wanted to forge my own path. Uh, when COVID hit um, and the world kind of ground to a halt is when it gave me the opportunity to sort of step back a little and reflect on family and what's important. And 2021 is when I jumped on board full time. And for the first year or so, I followed dad around like a lost puppy dog and realized the extreme learning curve that I was on <laughs> because there is a lot more to farming than meets the eye. But it's a passion project and to be able to stand certainly in the middle of an orchard field where or orchard where you know that your great grandfather was there doing the same type of thing 118 years ago, there's just something about the roots that are a part of that, that tie you back down to the ground, it grounds you, and it certainly gives you the drive to keep uh, propell it, propelling the, the farm forward. And the apples go hand in hand uh, with the lavender, so when the apples are, when it's not as busy in the summer season with the apples, the lavender supplements that work time for the men that work on this farm. The, the Seasonal Agriculture Worker Program started in about 64 it was getting harder and harder to get labor to pick apples and so we started um, having Jamaican workers here in 1965 and we have had them ever since and we've had guys that retired after 40 years. One of the stories that I read about from my grandmother who had written, she had talked about how when grandpa first had his first season with the seasonal workers up here, um, it was the first time that the entire crop had ever been harvested because usually apples were left on the tops of the trees. There were time you just didn't have enough time to harvest it all. So that year when everything was harvested, my grandfather was so thankful that he went to each man and was shaking everybody's hand so joyfully that they were able to actually harvest. And, and to me, that just sends me that, that appreciation that's there right from that generation carried on. So they have always been, my entire life, they, I, we've always had men on this farm since working I since big. I was that big. And I have always had that appreciation for, they've always been a part of my family. They've always been there to rescue us. If we had kittens that were trapped, we had them coming to help us. We were always out in the orchard, or I was always out in the orchard following dad around on a tractor. And I don't know how many times somebody grabbed me and pulled me out of the way really quick um, to be able to rescue me. <laughs> or keep an eye on me, right? They're teaching me just as much as anything because I am technically new to the crop. So they're the ones telling me, well, we think there's something wrong here. Well, we think we need to look at this or we need to prune it this way. And I confer and consult with dad, but certainly they are a huge part of helping me up my learning curve and my journey with the farm. So it's sort of a mutual, uh, a mutual combination and, and, and relationship there. These guys, uh, they carried my father's casket they carried my mother's casket. They were here for her wedding. One of their one of their daughters we've helped through college in Jamaica. A couple of them, yeah. She, a couple of them. She she's now a uh, food or a, yeah food inspector in Jamaica because we helped her through college. So that's the kind of relationship we've had with these yeah. people over the years. They're skilled labor, they're dedicated, they are so incredibly proud of how everything looks. And you can tell on the farm the pride that goes into fixing with the landscaping, particularly for agritourism. You have to have that pride and it really shows with the men and what they do. They have such pride with how our fields look 
and what's going on with uh, disease and pest management in the field, especially there, are eyes and ears on the ground, and we couldn't, we couldn't do it. I wouldn't even I wouldn't imagine doing do it. it I wouldn't them. even imagine doing it without them. No, I couldn't. <laughs>